Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. Lance Brad here, ready for this morning's episode of GMWF. And last night, Monday Night Raw, was affected by some travel issues. I'm sure you know, if you watched last night, there was some big names missing from the show, Seth Frickin' Rollins, The Miz, Austin Theory, Johnny Gargano, Candice LeRae, and I think there was a couple others as well who were missing from last night's episode of Raw, and a couple that got there late, very late actually, if that is when they actually got to the arena, Sami Zayn and Matt Riddle apparently Matt Riddle was supposed to be in action uh, against the Miz last night I believe that was changed of course in case you missed it There was a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic last night, recapping last night's episode of Monday Night Raw. And in some quick note, some quick news real quick, I should say, AJ Styles, of course, has been out since December with a broken ankle that he suffered at a house show and just saw something a little bit ago before I left the house and as of right now there is no new update about when he'll be returning to the ring so as of right now he's out till further notice hopefully it won't be too much longer unfortunately he did miss the Royal Rumble and Wrestlemania this year So let's hope and wish AJ Styles a speedy recovery that he won't be out too much longer. And some other news, Tom Hannafan has re-signed with Impact Wrestling. I think that's a good thing. Tom Hannafan and Matthew Raywall have been doing a very good job as Impact commentary team as of late. And I've said this before on the podcast is that I think that Tom Hannafan has improved very much on commentary since his days in WWE when he was Tom Phillips been a lot better in my opinion anyway maybe it's from not having uh, certain people in his ear on headset he might have more freedom to say what he wants or say it his own way the way he wants on when he's doing commentary for Impact but Tom Hannafan stayed around in Impact Wrestling Once again, I know I've been mentioning it all week, but this Sunday night, Impact Wrestling Rebellion on pay-per-view. I hope one day this week to have an episode of one of the podcasts talking more about the card. Preview uh, this, which should be a very good pay-per-view. And real quick, a little bit of rating news. Ratings news. Last Friday night, AEW Rampage and Battle of the Belt Six, which actually the ratings improved. I wouldn't say they were real great, but they were up from where Rampage has been as of late 
and for Battle of the Belts, the ratings were up from the last two Battle of the Belt specials, so which is a little bit of good news. And this weekend, Rampage will be delayed again due to the NHL on TNT. So Rampage will be airing this Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Which, the last Saturday night episode of Rampage did not do very well in the ratings. One of the best, more recent showings of Rampage actually was the one time when they were on late Friday night. I remember it was supposed to start at 11.30 p.m. Eastern, but the college basketball game before went late so it didn't start till I think a little after midnight and that one did actually pretty well in the ratings I know what people said at the time that it had to do with a lot of people that were watching the college basketball game stayed after and watched Rampage that night. Either way, still good that the ratings were up though for Rampage. They have been uh, struggling as of late to have a good number for the show. So hopefully things will improve. That's why I have said before that a Saturday night show, adding uh, another one, not so much at a Saturday night, but is that might not be really the best idea for AEW right now. And like I said, Dynamite is doing well and Rampage not so much. So I would say focus more on the shows that you have on now before you add to your TV lineup each week. So that's all for this Tuesday morning episode of GMWF. Thank you everyone for listening right here on Spreaker or wherever you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcasts, either Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Podcast Addict, iHeartRadio, uh, and I'm sure there's more of those pod catchers that 360 is available on. Also, you can listen to on YouTube as well. And speaking of YouTube, the two 360 Wrestling Podcast YouTube channels right now, it just went up yesterday. The new 360 unboxing of the All Elite Crate Double or Nothing 2023. You can watch that now on YouTube with my co hosts, Bruiser Brody and Madison, are on this episode of unboxing as they usually are so go check that out like comment subscribe all that good stuff and hopefully we'll have more episodes of 360 wrestling fanatic coming at you soon tomorrow the wednesday morning episode of gmwf will be right here for you Thanks again for listening. Hope everyone has a great Tuesday today. Hope everyone enjoys NXT tonight as that noisy, rude motorcycle drives by. Until then, keep watching pro wrestling.